Hi folks, it's John from LastChanceAutoStore.com. I'd like to share with you, this is an update, um, be the, uh, I guess the final update on the 72 Chevrolet Corvette. Um, this is the resto mod if you've been following along. Uh, it's had an engine transplant and many upgrades. Uh, so it now has the, uh, a fuel injected uh, LS motor um, along with an upgraded transmission, the four speed automatic. And essentially everything is upgraded and new but we made it look like an authentic from the outside. It looks like a correct uh, Le Mans Blue 72 Corvette. So it's the last year to have the uh, chrome front and rear bumpers. Um, so we've got the big block hood. Um, you can see the wheels and tires are upgraded. So we've got the BF Goodrich white lettered uh, TA radials. Uh, we've upgraded the size of them. And then you can, you'll notice that the, uh, the wheels themselves, uh, they're the correct Rally Corvette wheel and they're triple plated chrome, not a painted rim. And then we have the triple plated chrome center cap and rings. And those are the authentic uh, General Motors rings. We have the uh, all new insignias like the Stingray insignia. We've got the side exhaust. We built a, a custom exhaust for it uh, coming out the sides. We have all new chrome with the uh, lock and handle and mirrors. Um, all of the T-top trim has been polished as we come along the back. We've got the new back window, new back seal. Uh, we have a power antenna that's all brand new. Uh, we've got the new chrome rack on the back and you can see how nice the back looks. I apologize for this area here. This is from the anti-theft system. Uh, the lock cylinder is on back order so uh, I'll have to ignore that for now. You can see the chrome uh, bumpers are new. All the lenses, these are a specific lens um, for an early 72. So we have the correct lenses. Um, and then we've got the Corvette insignia on the gas cap. And then as we come along, you can see the vents are all nicely done. The weather stripping is all new. The seals for the T-top is all new. Um, hard to see because of the overcast day. It's too bad because we've added a special sparkle metallic uh, to the paint. So it's a normal Le Mans blue like we're looking at it now. Uh, but when the sun comes out and hits it, the sparkle metallic uh, really comes out and kind of dances. So. Um, in a previous video after the, uh, the body was painted, we share with you in the sun um, a, an earlier YouTube video where the body is on a dolly and it's quite sparkling. Um, so we'll, we'll, uh, well, hopefully we can shoot another video on this car on a nice day in a better setting. We've got our, our gravel laneway and stuff right now. Um, and then the inside, everything looks quite nice. It's all new. Uh, you can see we've got new door panels, all new trim new handles, new bezels, uh, lock knob, uh, all new glass. The glass that came with the car was damaged. It was a basket case car, um, so it was missing an enormous amount of stuff. Um, and then the seats, in an early, earlier video we had uh, shared with you where they're a custom stitch seat. The, the blue matches the Le Mans blue exterior. Uh, we've got the embroidery there, uh, full carpet kit. Uh, we've got some accents. I think the camera can pick it up on the roof and the T-tops. You can see, uh, probably see where the, the accent blue stitching is in all of the trim uh, surrounding the T-top. So it all kind of ties in with the lower section. You can see in the console, uh, up both sides, we've got some stitching in blue. And then we have the accent in the seat. So um, we really like to tie in the outside to the inside. And uh, having the, the accent with the stitching, I think, is a nice touch. Uh, this is a nice aftermarket piece here. Uh, we've got the, uh, the Corvette uh, nameplate on the, on the inside of the rocker panel. And then when we shut the, uh, shut the door. You'll see the gaps and everything is quite nice. We've got, once again, the new Stingray uh, logo. And the headlights and everything have all been redone and rebuilt. We've got a new Corvette logo in the front. Um, then I'll just pop the hood and we'll share with you the engine bay. So the, uh, the engine now uh, has given this uh, Corvette quite a bit of attitude. So you can see that it's now the LS motor. Uh, we've upgraded it with air conditioning. In a previous video we shared with you all the upgrades that we did. Uh, with cooling, transmission oil cooler, um, and all the, uh, the layout is quite nice and very, very clean. 
Um, we've got all new components with braking, master cylinder, um, and essentially the engine is just like brand new. So we've got the Corvette covers for it. Uh, the power steering and everything is quite nice. You can see underneath the hood, it's all finished off in the correct satin black. And uh, we've got all new hardware and all that kind of fun stuff. Now, uh, the only other thing that we're lacking, you can notice along here, along the windshield, where the uh, trim is on back order. So, we're just waiting for that trim piece uh, that's going to surround the top of the fenders and the top. Because this style has the pop up uh, assembly for the wipers. So, this door lifts up um, before the wipers will engage. So, that's under the hood. And then as we come around, I'll just, uh, I'll start the car. And I think we can see the gauges too. It's a really nice sounding engine. It's very happy with the custom exhaust. I'll just get out of the way. And then we can zoom in. I think the camera person can sit right in the seat. We can share with you the new gauges. All new upgraded gauges here. Uh, we've got the clock. Obviously, we have our uh, our tack, and on the far end, we've got our speedo. You can see we've got 13 test kilometers on the car so far. Uh, we've upgraded the steering. It has tilt and telescopic. You can see the console looks factory original. Uh, the stereo is upgraded. Um, it looks like it's just a normal AM/FM cassette until you turn it on. It turns into electronic. It has the MP and all that fun stuff. So it's all upgraded. When you shut it off, it looks like a stock radio. So nice and clean. Everything is essentially brand new. And the sound is quite nice. I'll just rev it up a couple of times. I think the camera can probably pick up the sound of the exhaust. and the carpet is all new too. So there it is, the 1972 Chevy Corvette. Uh, I thank you for watching. I'm John from LastChanceAutoRestore.com.